Evolu Inhalers Nano Air Pro Like other Evolu Inhalers, the Nano Air Pro can be used by adults and children. Please note, when performing inhalation for children and people with disabilities, an adult supervision is required. The kit includes the device itself with a convenient medical cup, two masks for a child and an adult, a mouthpiece, a USB cable for charging the device and a storage bag. The inhaler performs the inhalation process by converting the medicine into a light mist that reaches the lower respiratory tract. Regardless the size of the device, in terms of functionality, it is as effective as any other inhaler. It is very quiet. It is easy to carry. The inhaler allows to perform inhalations even while a child is asleep. The inhaler should never be switched on when the medical cup is empty, as it can damage the membrane disc permanently. Before the first use, when medicine is in the cup, it's necessary to moisten the disc by shaking the device lightly. The device needs to be charged in the same way as a mobile phone. It has a built-in battery and can be recharged via a USB cable. When the battery is low, as well as during the charging process, the blue light will flash. When using the inhaler for the first time, it should be charged for at least 30 minutes. Once fully charged, the inhaler can run for up to 60 minutes. To switch on the device, press the button in front until it turns green. The inhalation process itself lasts for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it will automatically stop and the device will switch off. If you need to continue, press the ON button again. It can also switch off faster if the amount of medicine poured in is processed in less than 10 minutes. It is important to note that the Evolu Nano Air Pro inhaler completely processes the medicine without any residue. That means if your doctor prescribed you 2, 5, or 10 milliliters of medicine for inhalation, this is how much you should pour into the medical cap, as the entire amount of medicine will be completely processed. The maximum capacity of the medical cup is 10 milliliters. This device also has a second spray mode, the microwave mode. This mode starts the inhalation at maximum speed and gradually decreases after about 3 seconds, and then increases to maximum speed again after 3 seconds. To switch off the microwave mode during the inhalation and enter the standard mode, hold the on and off button for 3 seconds. After that, the green indicator will blink for 3 times. That means that the standard mode is on. It should be noted that the distribution of the spray rate allows optimal adaptation to the patient's respiratory rhythm and allows extensive consumption of the medicine as the spray rate is reduced. The medical cup is easy to install on the device as it has a magnet. The membrane disc can be detached from the cup for more convenient cleaning and disinfection. However, under no circumstances touch the center of the disc. The inhaler is equipped with the ability to independently control the spray rate. It means that it automatically starts working at a medium speed. And if necessary, the speed can be increased or decreased independently. Once the medicine is inside the cup, shake the device slightly so the liquid touches the nebulizer. Put on the mask or a mouthpiece and the device is ready to start inhalation. If necessary, the spraying speed can be increased or decreased by pressing the plus and minus buttons. It is important to stress that with the Evolu Nano Air, the use of essential oils, as well as medicines containing oils and sediments, plant extracts, cough syrups, lotions, throat rinse solutions are prohibited in this inhaler. These additives are often viscous and can interfere with the functioning of the device or even cause its damage. Additionally, distilled or highly filtered water should not be used in this inhaler. If such suspensions as pulmicord, buridiol and similar are used in the inhaler, the medical cup must be cleaned immediately after inhalation. 
We remind you that the inhalations should be carried out according to the doctor's instructions and instructions for use, especially the section on cleaning and disinfecting the inhaler.